Alright, hello folks, and now we're going to start the picture book Nine Lives. Nine Lives. All cats, even moon cats, have nine lives. Behold, Castle Grizzlestein, a.k.a. the Black Castle. Doesn't sound very welcoming, does it? Not that this cat minded. The witch, lucky enough to be his mistress, one Esma Potts, had a nice warm kitchen with plenty of nooks, just the right size for a cat nap. If I didn't know better, I think I had a sloth for a pet, said the witch, who was wising up to the cat's hiding places. He remembered more exciting old days when he'd served the moon goddess instead. It wasn't always like this, he purred, signaling a flashback on the next page. Ah, Castle Waxwain, a palace so white you had to squint to find the doorknob. Its ruler, the goddess, had a special place in her heart for one particular feline. So when the tyrant stole Moonstone and Scissors and staged a rebellion, who do you think Cat appalted into action first? Meow! The blitz may have been cut tragically short, but it was a life worth giving. Even after the whole moon realm had fallen, the cat rallied the goddess's most faithful subjects, determined to kitty-corner the tyrant right in his throne room. Follow me, you dogs, he shouted to the four champions, and all of them, even the young knight who was allergic, did just that. The plan might have gone without a hitch had the knight not been such a hopeless chicken. Well, you can run over a cat twice, but you can never roadkill his spirit. The four champions had been slain, their powers scattered, but our dear feline never gave up on the goddess. He spent another life scouring the moon for any ally willing to fight for her cause. Thrice dead but undeterred, the cat tried his luck on the high seas. No danger was too distressuous, no horror too harrowific. Into the jaws of peril he leapt, and found it quite difficult to get back out. Would none take his side in this cold, cruel world? No, he had but two allies now, his feline pride and the love for the goddess in his heart. I'll tackle that monster all by myself, he meows, no matter how many lives it takes. But alas, what hope had one messenger of justice beneath the beefy legs of evil? Our protagonist quickly flipped to the end of this book in search of a happy ending. The sting of five lives lost and the acrid taste of disappointment were just too much to bear. It was then that he met Esma Potts. To be clear, this was no shining goddess. The witch was so ugly on the outside, so nasty on the inside, that the moon cat felt compelled to walk away. Until, that is, he realized they had a common goal. He decided to hold out hope for a special child the witch assured him was coming. Each night, he gathered a few puppets and led them up to the Tower of Tribulations. But these were mere children, dreaming children. The brave ones died and turned to grubs, while the cowards who ran were enslaved in the kitchen. It was no use. After seven messy deaths, our plucky feline had fought himself out. Yes, the goddess was beautiful. Yes, life was better once. But getting all worked up over the paradise he'd lost was blinding him to the joys of mediocrity. Eat up, you mangy sluggard, so you can get some work done for a change. 
Today's joy was snot-coloured soup and a lecture. But at least he wouldn't starve. Home is where you hang your hat. He had two lives left, and this mooncat planned to sleep through them to their fullest. Well, that is really sad. Both stories are quite sad. So let's continue on this journey of brilliant writing. I did not mean to click that on, I'm sorry. How is everybody today? I'm doing splendid. I might stop recording now because it looks like my computer is actually running out of space. So let's start Act 3. Oh, that little Kutaro emerged is not victorious gold. from the belly of Snake, whose attempts to blight the Moonwood had ended in a nasty case of indigestion. Our hero was ready for more Moonstone Shards, and Act 3 seems as good a place to find them as any. So let's start this adventure of pirates. So the story continues. Talking about pirates, I will be doing a walkthrough of One Piece Pirate Warriors 2, just because I am a fan of With the, the anime and the manga. The um, this Kutaro game is a lot better than first. himself onward to the shores of a vast ocean. The Moonshine Sea. It was a dreadful realm full of pirates and monsters. And frothing up its waters at the moment was a roiling rivalry between Captain Gaff, pirate master of the Jolly Lamb, and Generals Pig and Sheep, who were vying for the captain's riches in the name of their king. Yo ho! Okay. Another fine haul, me old salt! Aye! The moonshine see me ours now! We'll not be cowed by pirate nor monster! And <laughs> <laughs> all thanks to the Moonbear King's sparkly prize, you old. Check it out, Katara! Those are moonstone pieces! By the by, me happy hearty, have you seen the wanted posters? For that flagged Totoro. <laughs> hey, Gatsy, look at the reward. If we catch this swamp, we'll be swimming in swag. <laughs> Way anchor, smartly now. A vast pig. There's not a cent to be had if we can't find him. Think of the time we might waste. And the electric bell. <laughs> you be right again. We'll need one smashing scheme to catch him. <laughs> Keep it down. Arr! How dare you pour one without me, a scurvy bacon bit. First peg, first serve. Quick, Katara, now's our chance. <laughs> Slowly, stealthily, he stole his way closer. The two generals were three sheets to the wind, but Kutaro could not risk waking them. The moonstone shards were just a few inches from his fingers when... The Moonbear King will heap riches on us now! Oh my. You know we're going to kill you, right? Oh, I will have their heads. Our hero had fallen, quite literally, for a ruthless ruse. And now he found himself wriggling around in the darkness. From the briny smell and lurching floor, he knew he was Inside a ship. Oh, they threw me ah, in the pirate not the treasure. Not the barnacles I was expecting. Well, <laughs> hoist high those chins, for ye have just liberated Captain Gaff himself. <laughs> Kutaro spied a hook, that of the dread moon pirate, and one of the goddesses' trick four of the champions. Moon bear kit. Only Calibrus can cut through, lass. And now we have a pirate head. Game is becoming better by the second. I'm now fire captain. <laughs> Scissor me timbers, the real Calibrus. <laughs> well, look who's obtained the pirate's powers. Let's use them to commandeer this ship. Understood. <laughs> My lady, you are beautiful. Hello. 
As you can see, you can move anything <laughs> that's got a hook. Try snagging this wretch. Mm. A good yank will dizzy your foes long enough to finish All the right. job. So, that's neat. Get to the deck. No excuses. Avast. Milady, I must have your name. They call me the Moon Witch. <laughs> Esma Box. Esma Pots. Ah, a treasure truly worth burying myself in. Are you being serious right now? But first, I must steal back me ship. Yeah. Let's go save. Well, I'll end it there.